Now, again, we want the same to be done with the mouth. This is the mouth here, and uh, you can't really see it, but uh, we want that all these different states of the mouth. Um, to be in the same slot right now uh, we have a slot for mouth underscore angry which ha uh, which holds the attachment mouth underscore angry we have a slot called mouth underscore closed with uh, which holds the attachment uh, or the PNG uh, mouth underscore closed and we have mouth underscore open which holds the mouth uh, underscore open PNG we do not really want this we don't want three different slots for three different mouth states we what we will basically want is a single slot called mouth which will hold all the states of the mouth so uh, we can just click uh, on the on the image uh, or the ps uh, or the png uh, that we want visible at that time and uh, we wouldn't really have to worry about all these different slots uh, let me explain what I'm saying so yeah uh, in order for us to do that uh, just click on the head click the click on the head bone here and then you have to go down here here uh, click on new and just go here slots uh, or slot slot click it and then uh, just create a new slot called mouth mouth and click uh, OK. Now you have this slot, but uh, it has not. It ha it doesn't really have at any attachment in it. So what you want to do is you want to click this attachment here, this attachment here, and this attachment here, and you want to drag it inside uh, this uh, this new slot that we made. And there you go. And now these three empty slots mouth angry mouth closed and mouth underscore open we can just yeah delete them like so so now we have one slot that holds all the three different expressions for the mouth uh, mouth open mouth closed and mouth uh, angry well, let's just hide the bones for now on uh, for now and you can do that by clicking here so yeah we don't have the bones to distract us anymore um see I'm sorry about that. Wait. There you go. Uh we have a single slot and it holds all the three expressions for the mouth. But the placement for these uh assets is a bit weird. So what you want to do is you want to click here on translate and just uh adjust uh, these assets separately uh, so that they don't look weird uh, mouse angry looks fine now uh, mouth close mouth closed wait yeah mouth closed looks fine now and mouth open let's just adjust this as well yeah this looks fine all of these looks uh, look fine although the mustache should be in front of the mouth uh, right now the mouth is in front of the mustache and we don't want that we want the mustache to be in front of the mouth and also we do not want this uh, mouth to be in front of this shield we want the shield to be in front of the mouth so how do we resolve this issue well that's simple as well you go here on root you minimize it and then you go here on draw order and you expand it now you can see this the new slot that we had created mouth was on top of all these other slots and we don't want that we want uh, we want it to be somewhere over uh, underneath the mustache so we just click on this slot here remember we are on draw order and we click on this uh, slot called mouth and we just drag it down here under mustache 
so yeah look this looks pretty good problem solved this was the problem and this is how you solve it so yeah uh, again we can go on route we can go to uh, our head bone and we can uh, go to our mouth slot and we can just uh, toggle through uh, the three different attachments see this looks pretty good um yeah that's about it right now we uh so yeah that's about it uh what else can we do let's just uh let's just we had hidden all our bones so we can uh, unhide them by going here and uh, by going here and just clicking this icon here and so now we can see all of our bones now these red angry eyes they are really really ugly we don't really want to uh, show these right now so we can just uh, uh, we can go to the head bone and uh, we can navigate here uh, we can uh, yeah we can navigate to this slot here eyes underscore angry and now we can just click this icon here to hide them unhide hide unhide hide yeah so we can just do that we can just hide these bones uh, like so now uh, let's make uh, bones for the eyebrows to do that we have to uh, select the uh, head bone be because remember everything that's a part of the head needs to be uh, every bone that you create uh, for any attachment uh, that's inside the head uh, needs to be a parent of the head bone so that it moves with the head bone I hope I'm not uh, confusing anyone anyway I'm sure you'll figure this out uh, as you see me uh, demonstrate click on the head bone click create uh, hold down control wait uh, okay so uh, click on the head bone uh, click create uh, hold down control and click the right eyebrow and just uh, uh, yeah just uh, give it a single click and uh, you've created a new bone but because you did not uh, drag it uh, outside you just uh, gave it a single click uh, this is what it looks like now we can uh, click on rotate and we can rotate this bone and there you go I eyebrows can now move or our right eyebrow can move now we want our left eyebrow to move as well so we just uh, click on the head bone we click create hold down control and click the right eyebrow and now we just uh, give uh, we just uh, do a single click and we've made the uh, brow uh, we've made the bone for the left eyebrow we click on rotate yep everything works as it should good now we can also uh, make a bone for our helmet here uh, so in order for us to do that just uh, click the bone that we want this um, new bone to be a child of and that's the head bone here we click on create again and uh, hold down control and just uh, click this helmet here click the asset for the helmet and let go of control now and uh, just uh, click and drag uh, the helmet uh, the bone for the helmet however you want it to be now uh, let's say I want I made a mistake and I uh, created this huge bone for the helmet how do I rectify this mistake well it's pretty simple you click on the bone that you uh, that you want to uh, create again and all you do is hold down control and basically make sure you have uh, 
create uh, selected now uh, click the uh, click the bone that you want to uh, create or rectify and uh, make sure uh, the create option is selected hold down control and just uh, make a new bone yeah that's it just click and drag and you'll be able to rectify that bone you can make it as many time as you want to there you go now you can uh, wait sorry you can rotate this bone and you can see our uh, helmet rotates you can even uh, translate this bone and whoa this guy has hair yo uh, yeah so uh, now we have a bone for this uh, for the helmet as well